Looks like it's time to take another look at Flowwise. This is a beautiful application that I previewed long time ago where you can easily build AI applications. With the simple drag and drop UI, you have the ability to build customized large language model flows. Now the best thing is it's completely for free as it's an open source app. Just take a look at this demo video. Flowwise is the fastest and easiest way for you to build large language model applications on your own data on the fly. Let's see how we can do that. In this example, we are going to show you how to upload a PDF file and ask some questions and have the AI answers for you. First of all, let me use the PDF file document loader and upload a new file, AI paper. And this PDF file is about an AI generated content and we are going to ask some questions to see if we can get a response back. Next, I'm going to connect a text splitter node to the PDF file loader, and this will basically chunk the PDF file into different pieces and connect it to the vector database, which is Pinecone in this case, and this will store the data into the Pinecone. Of course, you also need to include your open AI API keys and your Pinecone API key. So you can get those keys from open AI and your Pinecone dashboard. Last part, I'm going to use a conversational retriever QA chain to finish up the whole flow. And this chain is used specifically for question and answering like the one that we're doing over here. I'm just going to connect these puzzles together and save it. There we go. And we can just simply ask any questions right now. Let's see what are the advantages of LRM. What it does, it will basically split the PDF file into different chunks, store it into the vector database, and have a chain to answer the question for you. As you can see, the response is returned to us successfully. Apart from PDF, we can also use other document loaders like a web scraper, a CSV file, text file, and we also have a pre-built template for you to do all sort of things that you can do through the LLM. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, one of the main reasons why I really want to take another look at Flowwise AI is because of the additional use cases that they have introduced. Now, this is by offering more custom tools, integrating different applications, and embedding more features into this overall application. This brings in more like versatility obviously and it's obviously becoming so much better as they have been continuously working on this project further and this is why i really want to take another look at it because there's so many new features and capabilities that i really want to introduce to you guys so throughout today's video we're going to be taking a look at this further in detail showcase how you can get started and how you can actually install it so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services where i can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with ai definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below Now, one of the main reasons why I really want to take another look at Flowwise AI is because of the additional use cases that they have introduced. Now, this is by offering more custom tools, integrating different applications, and embedding more features into this overall application. This brings in more like versatility obviously and it's obviously becoming so much better as they have been continuously working on this project further and this is why i really want to take another look at it because there's so many new features and capabilities that i really want to introduce to you guys so throughout today's video we're going to be taking a look at this further in detail showcase how you can get started and how you can actually install it so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's 
today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Flowwise once again, as this is something that has been fully upgraded over the past couple of months. For the people who do not know, this is a user-friendly tool that lets you build AI large language model applications. This is by using the simple drag and drop interface, which is completely for free as this is an open source project. You can basically iterate quickly with it where you can go from testing to production quite easily with its super low code approach. Now, it's connecting large language models with various components like memory, data loaders, and so many other plugins and embeddings. It also includes 100 inter integrations, which basically allows you to create various types of autonomous AI agents that can perform different types of tasks, where you can integrate different plugins, different nodes, and you can execute them throughout Flowwise. It also now provides a custom tool set such as the ones that are provided from OpenAI's assistant or even function agents, along with their APIs and SDKs, which is going to be able to seamlessly be integrated into your own application. And this is one of the cool things that they have integrated over the past couple of months. You can see that they have done a great job to keep elevating their platform or their app in the way so that it's becoming more versatile and it's something that you can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. Since it has been a couple months since we covered Flowwise, I think it's best if we take another look at the installation method because they definitely have upgraded it. You can get started with the quick start method, which will require Node.js. You can start up with Docker, which is possibly one of the easiest ways. And you can also have it so that if you're a developer, you can install it with this procedure over here. But in this case, we're going to be following the quick start method, which will have this set up really quick. But there's a couple of prerequisites that you need to fulfill to make sure that you have Node.js. And this is the version that's above this 18.15 version. So once you have that fulfilled, we can then move forward. Now, what you want to do is open up your command prompt. In this case, I'm going to be doing it through Visual Studio Code. So if you're going to be following along, open up Visual Studio Code, click on View and click on Terminal. Once you have clicked on Terminal, click this drop down menu and go to Bash, get Bash. And once you are over here, what you can do is now install Flowwise. And it's fairly easy. You can just do npm install dash g flowwise so then paste this in and you can then have this installed this might take a couple of minutes so let it wait for a little bit and once it has finished i'll be right back now once you have finished installing it what you can do is copy this command over here npx flowwise start put your username in and put a password this is if you want to set a username and password for your application and in that case i'm not doing it because I'm just going to simply start up and showcase it. So I have pasted that command in into my terminal and now I can open it up on my local host by clicking on this. And you can see that you can start working and chatting with this right here. Now, the best thing is you can use this dark UI, which is something that is more appealing to my eye. Now let's get started and create our first flow. So what you can do is create your own chat flow where you can simply just click on this and you can start working with the drag and drop UI. But if you are to go to the marketplace, you're able to see that there's a bunch of different chat flows that you can already work with. These are very useful chat flows in my opinion, because you can see that you can create your own conversational agent for a chat model that utilizes chat specific prompts. So you can have it so that this con like this agent or this conversable agent will be able to respond in a certain context that you provide it. You have conversational retrieval QA chains. You're able to even implement a hugging face LM chain. You can have a local Q&A bot multi prompt chain and so many others guys there's so many different things that you can use and create with the pre-built flows that are already available you can also do certain things with the tools where you can have it so that you can create flow wise tools that can basically send slack messages send team messages send discord messages as well as create Airtable records there's so many different things and this is why i really wanted to cover this once again because they have integrated so many other tools to this and you can also even create your own tool set where you can load it from previous records or create your own where you can have it so that it can send messages to a certain app or a tool but in this case we're going to simply just take a look at one of the marketplace frameworks and get started with it now just take a look at the conversational bot that i just recently just created this is where i'm using the gpt 3.5 turbo model as my large language model i'm using the serp api which is going to be allowing me to utilize this tool for the conversational bot 
a calculator, as well as a buffer memory for the memory. You can also add additional parameters where you can add a system message or even a human message. In this case, we're just going to leave it as a basic. You can even output this even further. So you can have it so that it's executed into another node. So you can have it set to another node or another executable document loader where you can output the responses, which would be really useful for a lot of us. But this is a specialized conversational agent and it's going to be designed for chat bots and it's going to utilize this chat specific prompt that we give it. So in this case, you can ask it different questions and it'll be able to ask you or answer you questions based off of the context that I gave it. So in this case, I can have this as a VA so I can set the system prompt so that it can be a virtual assistant for my e-commerce store. Now so, there's endless possibilities with FlowWise as they're continuously going to be adding more different tools as well as features to it. Just recently, you can see that you're able to build conversational advanced rag without writing any sort of code within FlowWise. And this is a report that Llama Index actually just recently released. Now, this is just one example. They're going to continue to keep on adding things. So I truly recommend that you stay up to date with their Twitter. I'm going to be also making future videos if they release anything big in the future. So stay tuned. We always chat about different tools on our Discord. So if you're also interested in that, take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. But that's basically it for today's video on FlowWise, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. This is a great tool, a super simple tool that lets you build any sort of large language model application or any sort of AI agent. And I'll leave all these links as to what I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news and trends, as well as following us on the YouTube page by subscribing, turning on your notification bell, liking this video, and checking out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.